much, Ra. Keen form, Jabir, son of Ayan, the great Muslim philosopher, has welcome reached our city. Welcome, hello, hello Jabba. <laughs> Welcome to our city, brother. Welcome, it's great to have you. Welcome, sir. Oh, I did not want you to go through so much trouble. Thank you for all the kindness. In all the Muslim lands and Iraq, there's no one who wouldn't be excited to see you, sir. Things had gotten so difficult for Shias that they didn't even have the courage to show their gratitude to their leader. After my mother passed, I didn't even have the strength to stay in Khorasan. I don't mean I didn't want to, but I couldn't. The Abbasids are to blame for persecuting supporters of Imam Ali's household. Yes, it is true they are being persecuted without doing so much as anything. Our religious gatherings in which only Hadiths from our leader, Jafar ibn Muhammad, were mentioned, were attacked by them. It's not any better here in Basra. The governor of Basra is always busy adding to his coffers, and the heavy burden is for us to bear. He uses any excuses to make us pay more tax. If he finds out anyone's done something, or said a word against him or the caliph, First, he'll confiscate his belongings, and then prison and the dungeon. That is the fate which awaits us all. Father, a moment, please. Excuse me. Forgive me. Please, please. Please, please. What is it? She's struggling to breathe well, and her face is as hot as a furnace. Father, do something. God have mercy on us. What should I do? Jabba? Come, please. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. What is it, Envan? My wife, Raheli. She's been sick with something strange for a while. It's even difficult for her to drink water, and now she's feeling worse. Has the physician visited oh, her? Oh, yes. We've done what all the physicians in Basra have told us. It's been useless, you see. Why didn't you say it sooner so I could see her? Brothers, forgive me. I will be back with you in a few moments. Excuse me. Calm down, Mother. No need to get up. Close your eyes. Now open them. Roll your eyes to the sides. You said she doesn't have any appetite to eat or drink? Oh, yes. How long has it been? More than a month, isn't it? Maybe two months. I'll mix a few herbs together. You can give it to her. If she doesn't want to drink it, give it to her by force. Don't give her any food anymore until the next day, when she drinks water. An hour after that, mix the herbs again. Then I'll come see her. What is she suffering from? I'm not sure, Envan. 
What I said was to test her condition until I find out what's wrong with her for sure. I have to prepare the herbal mix. It's useless. Being abandoned with Zubair's conditions is like being a beggar. If we wanted to live in this misery, we already had it all. He's supposed to be the leader of bandits, and no one's seen him since this morning, no one. Maybe he wants to stop a caravan without telling us. Hmm. Right now, the dark eyes of Envan's daughter has blinded him. He has every right, the poor thing. She has magical eyes. <laughs> or maybe it's her father's properties that have caught his eye. What do you think? It's worth it, though. If I were him, I'd also look at my life and see where I can straighten up and go honest for a girl like that, too. It's useless. Falling in love has made him forget he's a bandit. Working with Zubair is useless. Well, what should we do? Well, it's obvious. We'll work on our own. Yaber, you are a scholar who is well respected by Arabs and non-Arabs. We have been looking forward to learning from you. Now that you have graced the city of Buzzer of your presence, we, the lovers of science and wisdom, want to use this opportunity to ask you for answers to our questions so we can add to our knowledge. We have much to learn. If you give us permission, we'd like to ask some questions. My leader says the meanest person is the one who does not provide knowledge with others with what he knows. I myself am always excited to take part in gatherings that discuss science and knowledge, and it is my pleasure to tell you of what I have learned from our leader, Jafar ibn Muhammad. If that is so, then tell us what we call air is. How is it then an element which has no use, no color, taste, or odor, and cannot be seen, is so essential to mankind's survival? Air is one of three states of matter. It is not a solid or a liquid. It has no color or shape, but it is not useless. Air is made up of different gases, and the survival of mankind and other creatures depend heavily on that. How exactly can this air guarantee life? Shoki, please get me a glass bowl. Yes, sir. A part of this air turns nutrients into minerals that the body needs to function properly. That way the organs have the power to function. Here, sir. Thank you, Shoki. Imagine the body is like the flame of this candle. Now look at the flame carefully. Even though this candle has enough burning material, it cannot continue to burn without the air around it. Our body is just like this candle. It needs to receive air to continue functioning.
thoroughly understand the combination of these two, you will be able to understand the relationship air has with the other elements. Air turns from non-physical to physical like body and soul which come together and a unique being is created. The basis of this combination is the need of the body for a soul and in our example, the need for air to be seen. This need is what gives matter the power to create. And how this combination comes together depends on the soul's free will. Hey. What do you want here? Hello. I said, what do you want here? What others want. All they want is to learn. They're not bandits. I want to know what he's doing here. It's absolutely not your business. This is the home of my dreams. How could it not be my business? Shut your mouth, you fool. You will take your dreams to the grave. Maybe. But I will not let the single person take my place. What place are you talking about? You, sir, you only belong in the deserts where you stop defenseless people, you fool. You have absolutely no place here. I will definitely have you. No matter the price I pay. I won't let anyone stop me. Get the hell out of here before I scream and call everyone but I, out. I, I, Do what I said. Very well, will you all get right. Lost okay. Or not? Calm out. down. Calm Faster. down, all right. Out. I just want to talk out. to you. Calm Faster, down. get lost. Fine. Something wrong, my lady? No. Keep an eye on the guests, and don't let strangers in. Don't worry, my lady. So we come to the conclusion that all things in the world are made up of four elements. And those four have four basic qualities to them. With the use of the science of balance, we can distinguish how much of these elements each creation includes, and then determine its makeup precisely. This way, the alchemist will be able to have full knowledge of any kind of change in things in the world around him. And when he is able to distinguish the elements and the qualities of the elements that nature is bound to, and if he can generate them on his own, then he can create new elements, especially elixirs which have the power to change metals and things like that. He can also, if he so chooses, influence whatever quality that objects have, and all strengthen weak qualities in objects, and vice versa. So in short, he can help make up for weakness. And that is how one can have a full authority over these four elements. He can also have full knowledge of everything and find out about the secrets in creation and in nature itself. After he spoke about the wind, air, nature, and the properties of matter, he linked the discussion to the Prophet's progeny. He talked in great length about the great traits, and he insisted that whatever he knows is only a fraction of what his leader, Jafar ibn Muhammad, knows, and that there's much more to learn. Did he say that openly? Yes. He repeated it a few times, too. And then he went on to explain that only Muhammad's progeny knows of the truth. Anything other than that is void and wrong, he said. So be it. Without a doubt, he's committed a great sin. We have to issue a verdict that is against the Caliphate. So be it. Who was present? Any one of the city's rich land owners? Were they there? I have written down all the names for you, Master. Sami? Yes, Master. Find out what each and every one has. If they are truly rich, add to their taxes, okay? Yes, Master. Leave the poor alone. Let them add to their knowledge while learning from this great scholar. Mm -hmm. 
they might move up the ladder too, and then we'll be able to tax them even more. Yeah. You, young man, you will be generously rewarded. Thank you very much, sir. Give it to him. has taken over her entire body. Her entire body? Yes, I wanted to test her body's reaction to see if she can be cured, but... nothing. You mean there is no hope? She will be with you only for a few days. Something, something that I could do for her to suffer less these last days. There is only one thing that can ease her pain. Tell us what it is. We will provide it. I have to mix a few things together. I hope I can. God bless you, my dear man. Please do whatever you can. I will do my best. Shoki! Come with me. I hope God helps us with this. Get whatever he requires. Yes, Master.
God bless you, sir. The lady isn't feeling well. She has too much pain. Don't worry, it will be ready soon. What is in there, sir? It is a medicine which has to be made with steam. Shoki, don't touch it. It shouldn't move at all. So what will happen? It's best you don't try testing it. What a beautiful house. <laughs> Whatever they have, they must have hidden it in this room. Search, search, hurry up, hurry up. You two, search, go on. Shout was out of fear, not sorrow. Fear of what? I don't know. Ha <laughs> 
house of the richest man in Basra. God <laughs> help you. What are you doing here? Man. If you wanted to live, tell us where you've hidden the coins. Have you gone completely insane? What coins? What do you want here? Are you deaf? Where are the coins? You thieves! Prepare to die! Be careful! Don't Let kill me him! Let go, you godless Don't thieves! Don't kill him! Sail down, old man! Bring him here! Settle down, old man! Zulfa! I'll cut off your head! Zulfa! Go in the room! Go on! Go! Hurry up! Him. Go! Go! Zulfa! Search the entire place! Hurry! Faster! Shame on you! What do you want from us? Why are you here? Search! Search! Shocky. Case, gather it all up. Gather it up. Help him. Come on. <gasps> Get out of the way, old man. You thieves. What do you want from us here? Hey, magician. Where were you? Bring him. Bring him. <laughs> well, go. Go. Go and search the entire place. Go! Whatever we have is in the first room. Don't ransack the entire house. Shut up, old man. They know what to do. This lady is sick. Fear and anxiousness will kill her. Honestly. <laughs> well, tell her to have some patience till we're done. If she wants to die, she can. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Get it? God damn you! He's run! Gather up all of the coins! Don't leave anything behind! Yeah, take this! Gather Get everything! It all up. Come hurry on! Up, hurry up! Oh, this too! Grab it! <laughs> Mother! What is it? Hey, magician! Stay there and don't move. My sword is sharper than you think. I'm worried my hand might shake and I might slit her throat. Can't you see? This woman is dying. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll be done soon. By the way, rich folks have nine lives. They don't die that easily. Hey! Kiss! Come! Where the hell are you? Hurry! <laughs> Someone's in a rush to die here. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> What are you looking at, old fool? What are you looking at? Come with me, Case. Go. Go on. Hey, Case, search and see if you can find anything useful or not. Ah, <laughs> oh, ah, oh, the stench of it. Is there a dead body boiling in here? Do you want a drink from it? Shut up, man! <laughs> what was that? What was that noise? I said, what was that noise? Back, back, uh. back, back, go back, go on! Go! Stay! Uh, stay there. <clears throat> I'm burning! Oh, I'm burning, damn it! I'm burning! Oh. Help me! Wait! Wait. Oh. Wait. Oh. Wait. Put it out, you idiot! Uh. Where are the coins? Uh. Uh. Let's go. Come! Ah. <laughs> Come on, let's go! <laughs> what do you want? Get out of the you way! thieves! Move! Come on! Move! Oh. Oh. What happened? Ah. What is let go! I said don't touch that, you thief! I said don't! Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 
Let's go. Something. Mother, I am losing mother. her. Please do something. Mother. Mother. Oh, no. Why? <laughs> mother. Mother. <laughs> what is it, John? We are from him, and to him we shall return. Tell me something, my friend. Don't you want to test your luck here? <laughs> I already have, Governor. <laughs> I have always had faith in my good luck. <laughs> mm, good for you. How did you come to such a great conclusion? Mm. When the great Governor of Basra gave me this post, of course, I found faith in my good fortune. <laughs> Master, apparently there's chaos at Envine's house. What happened? Tell me. Master, Sulfur's mother passed away. What? When? An hour ago, Master. With you, but unfortunately, I have received word that the wife of a Basra leader has passed away. As you all know, I always share the sorrow of the people of Basra. Therefore, I am extremely sad about what's happened. All of us here will take part together tomorrow. I am officially inviting you all to the funeral tomorrow. The ceremony for Envan Basri's wife. Good night. So, God be with you. That was great. Go. Please. Please. I enjoyed it. Goodbye. Excuse me, Master. God be with you. Uh, Sami, do something for me so that I take part in Envan's wife's funeral ceremony gloriously tomorrow. Yes, Master. By the way, tell Om Fares to come to me. Right now, Master? Yeah, do it right now. Yes, Master. Stupid man, how dare you do such a thing, uh -huh. huh? Have mercy, Zubair. Have mercy. Have mercy. 
I have to slit your throat. I have to hang you from these trees so that you become a lesson for you the others. You said we have to do something big, didn't you? Did I say attack Envan's house, huh? Who's richer than Envan and Basra? I thought I, I would love to know how this empty head of yours thinks. What you think only has losses for me. Uh, nothing's happened yet. We didn't get a single coin from there. For goodness sake, Arm. Don't you know I favor Envan's house? Don't you know I don't want any wrongdoer passing by that alley? Don't you? All these bad moods are for that? Let me go! All this is because of that? You've turned our days into nights. You do us so much injustice for what? So that Envan will let you marry his one and only daughter? That is none of your business. Just do what I tell you to, okay? It is my business! You almost killed me! You don't know, you don't know what goes on in Envan's house. What's going on? Huh? I don't know. Ask the others. Tell Case and Carl to tell you. Open your mouth and tell me what you saw there. All right, I'll tell you everything. Hurry up and tell me. Uh, you know that kid, the magician, the alchemist, I don't know what he is. Jabber. Yeah, Jabber. He became so welcome in that house, it's as if he owns the place. That's nonsense. He's only Envan's guest. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It started with that, yes. And then he started threatening the women and then defending them. Uh -huh, you silly kid. You want to kill me? Well, tell me! Kill all of us! But know this. As long as Jobert is there, Envan's dog won't even bark at you! Get it? So bad. Have you heard, Zobair? What is it? Basra is in mourning. What are you saying? Enfan's wife is dead. Greetings to the great governor. How can I help you? Have you heard? Yes, governor. I sure have. You have to go to Envan's house before anyone else. Offer Zulfa my condolences and do something for her to think that you are the only one left for her now that her mother's part. In short, do what you have to do. Just be careful, do what you have to do properly. You can rest assured, Master. Go. My condolences, Envan. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs>